Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Anisa Batul, student of BS7 Microbiology, Kohat University of Science and Technology. Today's presentation topic is about molecular characterization of community associated methicillin resistance to Phylococcus aureus from pet dogs. This is the research paper I'm going to discuss in this presentation. This research paper belongs to the journal Zoonosis Public Health. Some contents of my presentation. Firstly, I'll discuss about the introduction, then methodology. I'll discuss what are the procedures or methods which are applied for this research, then results and so on. Introduction. MRSA is a bacterium that causes infection in different parts of the body. MRSA methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Some strains of Staphylococcus are hard to treat. There are different strains of micro, uh, Staphylococcus aureus. There, some are hard to treat because they are resistant to commonly used antibiotics. Staphylococcus aureus is gram-positive bacteria, coagulase-positive, and present in round shape. They are present uh, in the human body and also normal flora of human body, present in the upper respiratory tract and on the skin. MRSA is an important cause of hospital-associated infections in humans. It causes soft tissue infections, wound infections, swear invasions, potentially life-threatening infections, for example, sepsis, uh, or organ, uh, organ damages, pneumonia. There are different diseases that are caused by MRSA. Staphylococcus so is mostly isolated from the human interior nose because it's the normal flora of humans. Approximately 30% population have asystematic carriage. Asystematic carriage means they are positive for the MRSA but don't show the symptoms. Carriage of MRSA associated with increased ris risk of nosocomial infections and community acquired infections. PETS has also been demonstrated to carry identical strains of M MRSA and MRSP to their human owners, suggesting intra-household transmission is likely to occur. Staphylococcus aureus is a normal flora of humans, but not normal flora of dogs. There are different uh, uh, strains of a species of Stepha, uh, Stepha, Staphylococcus. That is Staphylococcus sudentimedius that is predomin predominates in dog species and also a veterinary pathogen. It causes diseases in humans and causes occasional zoonotic diseases. In Australia, different studies are done that show prevalence of MRSA carriage. In some areas of Australia, which shows low prevalence that are PATH, that shows 3.1%. Darwin 2.2% and Brisbane 0.7%. But in some areas that show high prevalence, like Queensland area, that shows high prevalence and about 7, 15%. And mostly in aboriginal peoples. Aboriginal peoples are more that are that are the people of that are the habituated people of. Australia. Objectives. What are the aims or the goals of this presented of this research? Why we done this research? 
to characterize the carriage of MRSA and MRSP in dogs and cats, basically in pets in New South Wales, Australia. Then we'll talk about methodology. In methodology, we perform different methods. First, at first of all, sample collection, sample acquisition and specification, antimicrobial susceptibility test, whole genome sequences in silico analysis. Firstly, we'll talk about the sample collection. Sample collection. This study was conducted in a region of New South Wales covering more than 200,000 kilometers, classified as very remote. The region, in, uh, the region outlined in black is where dogs and cats were screened for carriage. Participating communities are geographically isolated with limited or no access to veterinary services. Programs were conducted over a three to five day period in each community. Sex, breed, age estimated on physical and dental examination, height, body condition were also assessed. Since uh, skin lesions are bound were also recorded Ethic approval was also granted by the animal ethic community of the University of Sydney. Then sample acquisition and speciation. Sample is collected from diff uh, six different communities, total number of dogs, 3.303, uh, total number of cats, 80, and total animals that, that were taken, 8.80383. Okay. Sample acquisition and speciation. Samples were collected from each animal using separate sterile cotton tipped swabs at three anatomical sites. First sample were taken from anterior nerves. Anterior nerves are the exterior portion of nose. Then the second from oropharynx. The oropharynx is the middle compartment of the pharynx, that is throat. It is the region of throat between the nasopharynx and hypopharynx. Third sample were taken from the skin of perineum. The perineum is an anatomical region in the pelvis. It is located between the thighs and represents the most inferior part of the pelvic outlet. The fourth sample was taken from skin lesions or wounds if possible. All samples were immediately refrigerated and processed within seven days of collection. Swabs were enriched by inoculating onto Columbia sheep blood agar and incubated for 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. Treatment was done on the blood agar plate to collect many colonies which were subcultured onto selective media for methicillin resistant staphylococcus species including MRSA and MRSP. MRSA on the brilliant media, that is selective media, and other species of Staphylococcus species on mannitol salt agar. MRSA brilliant spirit was incubated for 18 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. Positive culture on brilliant spirit shows denim color colonies were subcultured on the Columbia sheep blood agar and incubated for. 24 at 37 degrees Celsius. Up to three morphologically distant colonies per swab were selected for speciation based on gross examination. Species identification was established by routine phenotypical laboratory method and confirmed by the BD broker Mildy Biotyper. Next is antimicrobial susceptibility test. For susceptibility te test, methicillin resistance of isolates from MRSA brilliance plates were confirmed phenotypically using this diffusion testing with oxacillin 1 microgram for, uh, for 
Staphylococcus pseudentimedius and coagulase negative Staphylococcus species. Cifocetin 30 microgram for Staphylococcus aureus, antimicrobial susceptibility of methicillin resistant isolates were assessed by using the gram positive ASTGP69. Antimicrobial test was gentamicin, kenamicin, androfloxacin, morbofloxacin, clindamycin, vancomycin, uh, trimethomprin, sulfamethazoline, uh, sulfamethazole, and some other drugs. In addition, uh, susceptibility to trimethoprin was assessed by this diffusion. Susceptibility to trimethoprin sulfamethosazole was confirmed by e-test. The next analysis that is done or the method that we perform is whole genome sequences. Whole genome sequencing was performed on all phenotypically methicillin resistant Staphylococcus species isolates. DNA was extracted from overnight Lemco broth culture using Quagin QIAAMP DNA mini kit for isolation of genomic DNA from gram positive bacteria. Whole genome sequences was also performed using MI sequence system. And the last analysis was in silico analysis. De novo genome assembly was conducted using CLC genomics. The bacterial analysis pipeline was used to determine multilocus sequence types, presence of acquired antimicrobial resistance genes, presence of virulent genes, including human host adaptation genes. SPA testing was performed by the SPA type 1.0 uh, 1 program. Blast analysis was also done to determine SCC MAC type and presence of host adaptation genes. Subtyping of SCC was also performed. And the results, what are the results of this process? Characterization of dogs in remote New South Wales, Australia, from which MRSA was isolated. A total number of 383 pets, 303 dogs, and 80 cats were sampled from six communities in western New South Wales. Dogs were mostly mixed breeds, and dogs were all domestic short hair or domestic long hairs. Dog age ranged from six weeks to 15 years and weight varies widely. Cats were mostly young, the, the, mostly dogs and cats were assessed to be in normal condition. MRSA was isolated from the interior nerves of five dogs. MRSA was also isolated from the oropharynx of two of two dogs. Two dogs had wound associated MRSA and one dog, skin, one dog had skin lesion associated MRSA. MRSA was not isolated from any dog. Genomic characterization and antimicrobial resistance phenotype of MRSA isolates from dogs from remote New South Wales, Australia. Staphylococcus species were isolated from Manitolson agar from 303 dogs and 59 of 80 cats and with a total of 494 isolates recovered. Staphylococcus aureus was isolated from manitol salt agar from six dogs and three cats. Only one cat had S aureus isolates on both manitol salt agar and brilliance agar. Besides beta lactam antimicrobials all, uh, all uh, MRSA isolates were susceptible to all tested antimicrobial, including gentamicin, kenamicin, androfloxacin, marbofloxacin, erythromycin, clandamycin, tetramycin, rifampin, and etc. Two MRSA isolates from dog 194 ST5 IV0 
were resistant to trimethoprim based on this diffusion but was susceptible to trimethoprim sulfamethazole based on e test and vitic tooth test susceptibility of all mrsa isolates to trimethoprim sulfamethazole was confirmed by e test alignment of scc mac 40 from a human clinical mrsa 5 st5 isolates from central australia and a commensal srs st5 isolates from anterior nose of dog from western new south wales australia showing near perfect homology MRSA isolate represent four multilocal sequence typing ST1 ST5 ST72 and ST93 all had SCC MAC type 4 with all except the two ST5 isolates R10 isolates carried the antimicrobial resistant genes MAC A and BLAZ Z the two ST5 four isolates also carry the trimethoprim resistance genes DR DFRG the SCC MAC of 2 ST5 isolates had near homo, near perfect homology with SCC MAC type IVO same in contraction of trimethoprim resistant gene DFRG adjacent to IS431 in the third J region of N SCC MAC type 4C backbone R10 isolates carried the human host adaptation immune invasion genes SAK and SCN 9 carried SCHP and 2 carries CSEA the two methicillin resistant coagulases negative staphylococcus species isolates were PVL negative late human host adaptation genes and carries SCC MAC type 2 what are the conclusion of this research trimethoprim trimethoprim is an antibiotic mainly used in the treatment of bladder infection trimethoprim resistant st5 iv with d frg incorporated into a novel scc mac which has not previously been reported in the eastern states of australia all M mrsa will non multi resistance with antimicrobial resistance limited to beta lactams in isolates from all but one dog Trimethoprim resistance in two PVL positive ST54 isolates were confirmed by the gene DFRG, one of several potential mechanisms of trimethoprim resistance in MRSA. First report of trimethoprim resistance STV4 ST54 in Australia, Eastern Australia, and also first report from the dogs. Trimethoprim resistance conferred by the DFRG is a major feature of MRSA infections and found in isolates from Northern Territory and cause infection in Africa and Asia where the use of trimethoprim sulfamethazole is widespread. the st5 iv isolates lake genes conferring uh, sulfamide resistance st5 iv isolates remain phenotypically susceptible to trimethoprim sulfur sulfamethazole an increasingly important first line human antimicrobial in the treatment of skin and soft tissues infection in population in which the incidence of mrsa is high
the degree of human contact shown influence in cats and dogs mainly the transmission in communities is primarily from owners to dog and shows high carriage in pets than dogs because of transmission from their owners community based mrsa shows high prevalence of a systematic mrsa carriage in aboriginal peoples than non aboriginal populations the presence of human immune invasion complex gene chp scn sak sea found in virtually all human lineages but rare amongst the as obvious from dogs and future research what are the research in future we can perform after doing this research investigation of mrsa carriage in the human population what are the risk factors for carriage of mrsa in pets what are the role of environment in the life cycle of mrsa between humans and pets and at the end uh, some references thank you